Hey everybody, Dan here, Windy Day in Pennsylvania. PA Country Collectors coming at you with the real quick short today. We're gonna look at a feeder, chicken feeder. What you see before you is a tote. I think I spent $13 at, at Walmart for it. And then you see, Four inch PVC elbows. Nothing fancy. I think these are eight bucks a piece at Home Depot. And then a four inch hole. You put it in like this. And bam, you have an automatic chicken feeder. Only thing you gotta keep in mind is right here. You have to have a gap between the bottom and the bottom of this. You notice actually on this one I took and shaved it, but this gap here is what lets the foods get in there and then the chickens can come and eat. Inside my feeder I keep some tools. Oh yeah, actually you'll notice this here. That's for another three inch one. That's for the, when the babies are here. Right now I don't have any babies, so that gets blocked off. But you notice in here I have tools. I got a scooper and I got a knife because this is how I get my my feed from Moral Supply and Everett. By no means a shout, by no means sponsored by them, but definitely a shout out. My chickens love their food. Hi, Flo. So anyways, I've got some tools in there. And we're ready to feed. Oh, <clears throat> this is the PVC pipe for when the babies get here, the chicks get here. If I get any chicks this year, this will go in here like this. And that will allow the chicks to come in from right here and get direct access to the food when they're old enough. And now the getting the 100 pounds of chicken food into my little tote here. And when we're all done, put the tools back on top, chicken feet. See, she's in there already. Hi, Flo. Hey, Shaitan. 